Upstate is proposing a first-of-its-kind heroin clinic where addicts could legally inject themselves under medical supervision. The mayor says it would save lives, but opponents are lining up against the idea. TV 1055's Long Island Bureau Chief Richard Rose explains. 28-year-old Ithaca Mayor Svante Myrick is asking the state health department to approve a heroin clinic where medical professionals would watch as addicts shoot up, standing at the ready to intervene if someone should overdose. The mayor says such clinics have worked in Canada and Europe to prevent addicts from shooting up alone where no one would be able to help them should they overdose. There is no way to use heroin safely. It kills families, it kills communities, and it's been destroying the New York State area. On Long Island alone, more than 160 people died in Nassau and Suffolk counties last year from heroin. It's why Nassau and Suffolk counties called this heroin summit last week to announce more money for police and treatment centers. Republican State Assemblyman Ed Ross says that's a better approach than what Ithaca's mayor is suggesting. Have we ever really fully funded the treatment system and made sure there were adequate beds? Assemblyman Ross says he understands that affected families want action to deal with the spreading epidemic. No matter where you are here on Long Island, heroin is available and is cheap. Meanwhile, residents divided on the idea of a legal heroin clinic. I think that's a crazy idea. We should be helping addicts recover, not encourage their use, regardless of whether it's in a uh, protected place. Not in favor of uh, just, you know, people using the drugs, uh, but something's got to be done. So if, that, if that's going to help them, I'm for it. Unless the state health department declares a heroin health crisis in Ithaca, the proposal would need both state and federal approval. In Nassau County, Richard Rose, TV 1055. Now statewide, there were less than 200 deaths from heroin and other opiates a decade ago. In 2012, there were almost 1,000 deaths.